What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Nobles TX YouTube channel. So today what we're going to be doing is installing some new furniture on our VZ58. It's going to be the exact same type of furniture but one of the guys over on Instagram uh, his handle is at Kalash Bakes so Kalashnikov Bakelite is what he specializes in is he uh, refinishes Bakelite among other things and uh, he reached out to me and told me that he had a set of, uh, he had a pistol grip and hand guards for our VZ58. So I went ahead and took them off his hands and uh, we're gonna unbox those real quick. So let's see what those look like. So here is how they're shipped to me. And uh, they're wrapped in some bubble wrap. But like I said, uh, Kalash Bakes over on Instagram, he specializes in uh, Bakelite, pistol grips, hand guards, all the cool Kalash things. So let's see how the new furniture is looking. Ooh, pretty good looking stuff. So he does a really good job at refinishing bake light. And I have a feeling I'm be very satisfied with our new hand guards. So what he does is he takes them, works his magic, and gives them a look all their own. So that is pretty cool. I'll be really uh, happy with these. So what's on there now doesn't look terrible, but it is a little rougher. It does have some nicks, scratches, dings. And when he refinishes them, all those nicks, dings, scratches are usually taken smooth out. So pretty cool. All right, so I've gone ahead and set our new furniture off to the side. And what we'll do is we'll start disassembling this rifle and get everything ready for all the new furniture. Go ahead and pull it off camera, pull the mag, safety check it, firearm is clear. I'm just gonna go ahead and start disassembling it We'll start by pulling our rear pin. Now, this probably is not necessary for the work that we have to do, but that's all right. I'm gonna push my rear pin back in. Now my front pin, my front pin is always a booger, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off camera and give it a little persuasion with my baby hammer and my punch. All right, so I've gotten my top hand guard just about off. There it is off. Uh, our piston, I'm going ahead and leave that in. If you want to remove it, you would just pull back on the spring tension, pull it up and out, but we should be able to keep that there. I went ahead and also removed our roll pin that holds in our bottom hand guard. I had to use my steel punch. And since my punch is only so long, I went ahead and had another piece of steel off to the side. And oh, look at that. Drew some blood somewhere. All right. I went ahead and used this to extend my punch so I could get that roll pin all the way. Now that we have the uh, roll pin out, we'll go ahead and just turn it over, take the plastic side of our hammer and just give it a couple taps on either side and you see how it's starting to lower down. And there, at this point we can just go ahead and pull, pull our lower hand guard off of our BZ58. And we will need this clip, this is what our Retaining a pin or a roll pin goes through and holds our handguard into place. So you can see this old furniture is in not bad condition, but this new furniture just gives it a little more 3D effect, a little more pop. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, fit our bottom handguard. Put our clip on. Thank you. 
about as good as we can get it. Start lining everything up. All right, so there we go. We have our lower installed. I've not put that new, uh, excuse me, I've not put that push pin in yet. We can do that at the end. So that was a good tight fit. I did have to use my little hammer for some persuasion, but that was no problem. Go ahead and push this pin back through so it doesn't get in the way. We'll rotate our old hand guard off. Here's our old hand guard. Let's go ahead and slide that new one on. So I started heading for the tool cabinet. I thought I was going to have to go grab something to hold on to this while I spun on our new upper hand guard. I ended up just grabbing a cloth and I was able to spin this on and off with the addition or the help of our little microfiber cloth. So there's our upper. We'll go ahead and put this back on. And now all that we have left is our pistol grip. So I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver that fits in here and we'll get started on that. Keep your screw. And there we go, you can see our new one versus our old one here. Pretty big difference. Now I do like the look of our old one. It actually would probably look very good if it was refinished. So maybe one day I'll send that off to uh, Clash Bakes over there on Instagram and have him refinish that for me. A little more to tighten it up. That feels pretty good. Check my shirt straight. All right, looking pretty good. Not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it assembled real quick and hammer in our our roll pin and we'll uh we'll wrap this thing up not too bad Guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by for another video. If y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments. If y'all like what y'all saw, hit that like button. If y'all want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I will catch y'all next time.